Hey, what is up, warriors? It's the Quad Father here, and I'm here with another vlog because Quad MFT is sick. Wait, that's a lie. He's not really sick. He's, he has been sick, and that's why I've been here. But the, the truth is, tonight he is out with a friend whose grandfather is dying. And, and it's sad, but I felt I had to tell you the truth. But why did I lie at first? Because sometimes the lie is easier. And that's what I'm here to talk about tonight. Secrets and lies. I got to think today, you know what, one of the phrases I have at work is a family is as sick as its secrets. And it's true. The, the more that families lie to each other and hold things from each other, or relationships hold things from each other and, and lie to each other, it, it just makes the relationship the worst. I mean, when I was in high school, actually it was high school, early college, that I was dating a girl and I thought things were kind of rocky. And come to find out, she would lie to me and lie to me and lie to me and it just didn't make sense. And I'm like, why is this happening? Why isn't that, why isn't she really with her friend when she's, you know, lying to me? And it's because she was going out on me. She was cheating on me. And that sucked, okay? And the thing that hurt the most was not that she cheated on me. The thing that hurt the most is that she couldn't tell me the truth and she felt she had to lie to me. Because she thought that she was so special that I would not be able to recover, that I wouldn't be able to find somebody else, that I would, well, I don't know. She, it, it, what it was was, I mean, people lie for a lot of different reasons, right? I mean, some people lie because they don't want the consequences of telling the truth. Sometimes people lie like, are you cheating on that test? Well, no, if I tell them the truth, I'll get kicked out of school. I mean, of course, they don't want the consequences, right? Get arrested, whatever. Sometimes people lie, they make up things like, I've talked to kids about Call of Duty. And they're like, oh, I got 17 chems in a, in a minute. It's like, well, what? Why are you lying? I don't think any more of you because of this lie you told. And now I think less of you because you have just lied to me on something that's, that's so obvious and so ridiculous that I don't even know why you'd tell it. But sometimes people just lie out of habit. We all know people who, no matter what happens, they've done something better. No matter what happens, they've done it too. No matter what, I mean, they just lie for absolutely no reason. And I don't understand it. Now, now that just is, to me, a sign of immaturity. I don't care if you're 50 or 14. It doesn't matter how old you are. It, people will lie just out of habit, and that's ridiculous. So you always have to ask yourself, because you have secrets and I have secrets. We don't tell everything we know about ourselves or what happened to everybody. I mean, it's just virtually impossible. Okay, so, but when you don't tell the truth or when you're not completely honest or when you're keeping a secret, you have to ask yourself, why? What's the reason? And in order to tell the truth, you have to have self-awareness. Okay, so now there, obviously there's a difference between a secret and a lie. Like, if I were to come to you right now and say, hey, guess what? I know that you're adopted. Well, there are a lot of lies that have to be told to keep that secret, but ultimately it is a secret, right? I mean, ultimately you have to, you have to tell the truth because you, someone's going to find out. I once went out with this girl, they were actually twins, and they were blonde and their last name was Gonzalez. Okay, that can happen. Um, but they did an eighth grade blood test where they checked out their AB negative and their O positive and the rest of it, and they found out what their parents were. And they found out there's absolutely no way they could have been, give, been born to these people. But the parents had lied to them their whole lives. Man, I'll bet these girls, those girls, would have been okay, you know, had they been raised with the idea that, yeah, you're adopted and here's what happened and here's what's going on. But the lies on top of lies on top of lies that the parents told them in order to spare their feelings, man, that hurt them with their parents their whole lives. Because... There's a secret, and they got told a, a ton of lies. Okay, so why do we do it? I'll tell you what my experience is. There's a freedom that comes. When you are completely honest, like the last video I told, my embarrassing moment, when I finally told that, I mean, it wasn't in a long time, but I, I felt a freedom. It's like, okay, well, this is what happened. Now there's no hiding, nothing to fall behind, nothing I can get caught up in, no reason not to tell the truth. I finally told it, even so embarrassing. Sometimes it is embarrassing. Um, but sometimes, you know, there are little white lies like, honey, do I look fat in this dress? That's one I think about a lot. <laughs> I don't know. That, that it's always good to tell. Okay? So, but, but no, when you have freedom and you, when, you, when you can tell the truth, 
it actually requires self-awareness. You have to know what's going on, what's going on in your head. And even if, even if you're not sure about it, just keep telling, keep talking until you figure it out. Because you'll have a freedom. You won't, there, there's something about the freedom that I don't want to get found out. I, so you end up telling lies upon lies upon lies. And so I would, I would advise everybody, don't keep secrets. Now there's a difference between your secrets and other people's secrets. A lot of times I'm like, I mean, I work in a business where my job is to keep secrets, keep it private. It's not my lies, not my rumors, not my secrets to tell. Okay, so things about me, that's fine. But other than that, you're really telling other people's truth, then that's gossip. You know, and really, it's not for you to say. So even if it's, I can't tell you, I don't want to say, those are fair things to say. You know, it's, hey, I'm not saying anything about that. No comment, fair. I mean, sometimes there are presidential lies where they, I mean, and that's what, I mean, the whole, you guys don't even know the history. I'm not even going into that. But I'll tell you what, who would you rather hang out with? Someone who tells you the hard truth, even though you don't want to hear it, or someone who just tells you what you want to hear? Once you answer that question, I think you kind of know who, the, who you want to be. How do you want to live your life? Okay? So sometimes things are private. Those aren't secrets. Sometimes you just don't want to tell people. You tell them that. Okay? So you don't have to tell everybody everything. But in the final analysis, when you're looking at how do I live my life, I found from experience, not when I was your age, but from experience, that the more truthful and out there I am, the less fearful I am, the less, the less I have to be afraid of someone discovering who I am or what mistakes I made or how I covered up that or how I didn't tell the whole truth on that, man, there's a freedom. It's just like, yep, this is me. I screwed up. This is where I am. This is who I am. This is what I did. And there's some real freedom in that. So I hope that you guys can, can, can someday find that. That you, can, that you can just say, this is who I am. I mean, I, sometimes I'm a screw-up. Sometimes I, I'm fine. Sometimes, you know, this is what I was doing. I don't know what I was thinking. I changed my mind now. You know what? Let the secrets go. Let Just, just be truthful. Be self-aware. And in the end, you have to ask yourself, is there a way to tell the truth and still be kind? Because some people, they say, well, that's the truth. And they're just being mean. So from the Quad Father, I'm telling you the truth. I love every comment, I love every like, and I want to hear if you guys have anything, that you, any wisdom that you have, any lies that have been told to you that hurt your relationships, drop it in the comment section below. Purging is good, and I am out of here, and that is the truth.